put it out there. Let's get people excited, man. I'm freaking excited, dude. I can't wait to win my pack. I mean, I'm sure it's already sold out. I, I know for a fact it's already sold out. <laughs> oh, awesome, man. So, so how about let's do this? Let's talk. Uh, let's do like a brief uh, sixty seconds um, about ThetaCon and where we are so far, and we can what we can share with the community, and then let's talk a little bit about the ThetaPunks Meta Chain drop uh, coming to Theta drop tomorrow. Um, uh, we'll let uh, the president of the TCCC maybe say a few words about ThetaCon and about what we were just able to reveal to the community um, just last week, uh, the venue and, the, and, and location and anything else that he feels comfortable with uh, sharing. Yeah, absolutely. So um, as you saw last uh, week, we announced uh, we've got the date, December 8th and 9th. We will be in Las Vegas, Sin City, sunny Las Vegas, uh, 2024 for ThetaCon. Uh, this is going to be great. So this has been a long time coming. Uh, the community has often said, hey, when are we going to get to Vegas? And, um, you know, a part of me just kind of is like, oh, my gosh, you know, just even thinking how much these things cost for Florida and then going to Austin, trying to take into account everything the community wants. Um, but uh, with great um, – uh, partnership with uh, Theta Labs and uh, many of the partnerships they have, particularly with the venue being at Resorts World uh, this year. Super excited about that. Uh, they came in uh, strong. Jerry hooked us up, uh, got the right contact, uh, started chit-chatting with them a few months ago. And as uh, things were getting positive, I know people are really starting to inquire, I think, uh, uh, end of January, beginning of February. And man, did uh, Doc, Rob, and I uh, we were all uh, super stoked and wanted to just scream out loud that this could possibly go down. This may happen. Um, we were obviously looking at Phoenix. Uh, Arizona was a big uh, key target, and then Denver and some other places. But, man, when this Vegas thing popped in there and started getting some uh, headway, um, you know, it was super tough to keep our lips tight. I can't believe we were actually fairly secretive about it. Towards the end, we started to get... Uh, a little bit too excited about it and start slipping some things, but that's all good. Um, but formal announcement, yeah, December uh, 8th through 9th, that's a Sunday, Monday. I know that's odd days from what we've had in the past, but uh, in order to make that venue work at the cost, uh, it's obviously a little bit cheaper on a Monday and a Sunday, um, so that helped uh, dramatically. And um, there are no... So one question I do want to answer because it's coming up a lot is going to be... Uh, the uh, venue accommodation. So those of you, where are you going to be staying and how do you reserve those rooms? That is completely separate from the tickets uh, that will be happening and the ticket drop that will be coming um, here in the next month, uh, end of April. You'll hear more announcements of that in the next uh, couple of weeks. Uh, so gear up for that. Um, and I'll end it here pretty quickly. But those room accommodations are completely separate. We've learned from the first couple of years. One, a lot of people like to make their own accommodations, whether it's at the venue itself, which we'd love for everybody to be there. Um, but uh, a lot of people do like Airbnb, and they've got reward points elsewhere. So we totally understand that. Um, so we've kept that separate in respect to a lot of uh, community member wishes. Um, but, you know, as many people that can get there, go for it. And uh, do please uh, feel free to get in there pretty quickly if you are intending on going. Um, go to Resorts World's website, resortsworldslv.com, I believe, and uh, pick up. There's a, a confusing piece there is there are three different hotel towers um, or uh, brands, I guess, that they have there. Uh, the Hilton, Conrad, and, like, uh, Cochrane or something like that. Um, any one of those is fine. It all, it's all at the resorts there, um, but they just kind of get you to different sections, I guess, within the, the uh, casino and hotel. So, good to go there. I'll, I'll leave it at that because we'll have more information coming later, but that's my, it wasn't 60 seconds, I'm sorry, it's long-winded, 360 seconds. And uh, we'll it's all over good. To, back to you. Yep. It's all good. Basically, the TLDL is that uh, tickets for the Theta Con 2024 will be sold at the end of April. Um, if it's something that we've done right the past few years, if you've been to Theta Con, is that you know you're going to get your money's worth. Um, we, 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 we'll do it right. We make sure we feed you. We make sure we have special happy hours. Uh, obviously, this is Las Vegas, so the ticket price you can expect to be significantly uh, a little bit more uh, uh, expensive than what it's been in years past. But um, but it's going to be truly special, and, and we're going to make sure that you get your money's worth. And yeah, another reason that it was Friday and Sunday. Uh, so I mean, Sunday and Monday is because also the the people that are uh, community members that are a little bit on a budget. 
they're going to be able to find rooms that are going to be a lot cheaper those two nights. Um, but they're, but I'm already hearing about a lot of projects that are making some, some pretty cool plans on Saturday, um, and even Friday. So, all right, guys, so let's turn it over to this, uh, Theta Punks meta chain coming down tomorrow. Um, we are super thrilled. Vishamir has been working. <laughs> this is, this is, not, this is not weeks, this is not months, this is, uh, I would almost say, years incoming since the last drop in 2022 when the Theta Punks Unchained project uh, dropped on, on Theta Drop. That was sold out, 2,500 NFTs, and uh, a little bit about what, what um, this this uh, project is all about. Um, yeah, I'll just keep it super simple. Theta Punks came on Unchain with, a, with an indie project. That was pretty much a very derivative project of CryptoPunks. Uh, that didn't go so well. That ended up being a rug pool. And uh, Vishamir stepped up and, and, and basically uh, we came together as a team to see what we could do to revive it. And, you know, I think the name Theta Punks was there to, to, to set our sights on what we could potentially do in the future. And it's all about honoring the community and celebrating what the community has to offer, all the individuals, all the entities, all the projects. And 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 once Vishamir had that idea, we, we in two, two over two years ago, we've never looked back. And um, we're, we're, just, we're just making sure that we identify people that are contributing to Theta ecosystem, and he brings them to life in, in his art. So... Uh, Vishmir, uh, how are you feeling right now? The day before the drop tomorrow. Yeah, man, I'm super pumped. I, uh, yeah, I, I feel the same. This has been a long time coming and yeah, it's like it, it, we've put so much passion into this and I think like much the same with the first collection. It's like, like I'm looking at the collection right now and I, I just kind of laugh when I look at them because every single one of these like we keep using the term handcrafted or handmade or, or whatnot but like i think i'll just pick one here like if you take like chef chef pine i think chef Chuck, pine. remember you dropped that image in this is before we started the the, the meta chain collection i think you dropped that image as a joke and said what if we made this into a uh, a punk? <laughs> yes, I, yes. Like, I kind of looked at it. I'm like, there's no way that's impossible. There's like tentacles going all over. There's a salt shaker. There's... And then I I can't remember when it was like a week later or something. I actually dropped it in the Discord. <laughs> I, I don't know my game. I knew it. If anybody could do it, you could do it. I don't know how you turn these people. I mean, yeah. I was just looking at. I, I was looking at convention punk, which is actually Brian. And yeah. I swear, he looks just like him. I'm like, how do you make a punk look like the man? <laughs> um, oh, so no. just a little basic uh, about tomorrow's project. There's 625 NFTs, so much smaller drop. This is based out of 25 different characters, different personalities in the Theta ecosystem. Um, and the drop uh, tomorrow, on Theta drop, I mean, I hope you have pre-funded because... If you haven't pre-funded, it's, it's very unlikely that you'll be able to get an NFT. I, I can just tell you there's a lot of excitement. This community comes together to support the conference uh, th going three years in a row. So I hope you, you do. And the cool thing about this is that um, we've the utility uh, behind these NFTs is also going to be the ability to stream the conference. For those of you that cannot make it in person, oh, I, I really encourage you to be there in person because it's going to be an epic convention. But if you cannot, uh, we're going to have a live stream of all the main uh, the main stage, and that's going to be accessible uh, access via the um, uh, token gated um, uh, stream. And you need an NFT to do that. And so all these NFTs dropping tomorrow on Theta Drop will allow you to watch the con convention li live. Um, and and um, there's also going to be some pretty cool prizes. Um, in the collection, we have one alien, and we've already revealed who that's going to be. Um, that's, I think you said Ginian or Ginian? Um, however you say uh, Gage's um, uh, 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 name. Um, that's going to be a... Whoever unlocks that NFT is going to get a free ticket uh, to, to the account, a main person ticket. And then there's three apes, and we have not revealed what the apes are, and we're not going to do that, Vishnir, please. Uh, apes are awesome. Three apes. The apes are amazing. <laughs> yeah. They're so good. <laughs> They're there's so only good. three apes in the collection, and each of those apes, the moment you pull that and you reveal that, you just contact Data Punks, and you, you, you'll you get airdrop 1,000 T-Fuel. Each person will get airdrop 1,000 T-Fuel. Um, 
So it's a tell me uh, Do you got any favorite characters dropping tomorrow? Yeah, I, think I was on with uh, the Pops and Mags the other day, and I think I said uh, General Dole is definitely one of them. I think just the way he turned out looks great. I also like, um, oh man, I love them all. Like, obviously, NEC, your Vader uh, double double lightsaber there. <laughs> that's, that's definitely a favorite. Uh, Jenny's uh, Meta Chain with the uh, Meta Chain VR set. Is definitely one. I mean, I could so, for a while, man. <laughs> I like a lot of them. Yeah. So I think I think one of the things that people pay attention as you get more familiar with the data points, uh, lore and, and and style, is that every attribute that you see on these punks is in uh, an attribute that is basically derived from the original crypto punks. We use that, that's the whole <laughs> the, the whole thing about this. The way we the Vishni arrives at the different variations of every base characters is by doing um, by doing very <laughs> thoughtfully uh, uh, well thought out uh, ability to combine these attributes. This is not a generative project. This is not a plug into a machine. This is Vishni starting with the base characters and and basically modifying how he's gonna you know, adapt that knitted cap to put on top of Chief, uh, of, the, of Vader, on, on Charizard, on, on whoever uh, the punk might be. Um, and so, take some time to, like, look through these characters, and you'll notice um, all these different attributes, how they're, they're adjusted to fit just right for that character. Um, that's one of my favorite things, how he is able to arrive to 22, 30 different variations of that base character uh, by hand uh, adjusting these, these attributes. Um, yeah. Uh, I can, I, I I can add to that, Doc, too. Um, the other thing to consider is, like, like yeah, there's we're trying to keep to the original... CryptoPunk style, right? That's 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 sort of a theme throughout. But what I would say too is like if you take a look at um, Bones Nasty's punk, which is the pollinator, and I think you can see it on the main banner there a little bit of it, anyways. Um, these characters are totally unique, right? So those would start with maybe a hand drawn sketch, and then from that, I'd have to reduce it to the pixels, which which is challenging. It's it's actually a lot easier I've found to just draw um, a character rather than start with the pixels so something to consider but yeah nice nice yeah. um how did you um tell, 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 tell us a little bit about what meta chain meta chain means what it, what is this about the meta chain because there's a few that that carry that title but we have different kinds we have the zombies there's i think there's about seven of them there's three apes there's only one alien but then there's the meta chains tell us a little bit about that yeah, that's a good question. So if we go back to the Unchained, like the Unchained collection, obviously it was pretty clear the eyes were red and they looked uh, kind of angry. <laughs> so <laughs> a little bit unhinged, uh, Unchained. So that was pretty obvious. With the Meta Chain, it was kind of tricky, but the inspiration for that, obviously the name Meta Chain uh, is, is something huge. But if you, if you look at the original logo that dropped um, on Theta's website, you can see like the... You know the the red transitioning into the green, that sort of feel. It's it's kind of like a, I don't know, sort of like a, a galactic sort of theme in that sense. So, anyways, tried to tie in the two colors and tried to give them each punk that that is meta chain some sort of unique uh, feel to them, along with that meta chain green, red. Uh, color scheme. So that was the idea. I would say it's not as specific as the Unchained. It's pretty obvious the red eyes and the and the and the anger. But with the uh, the Meta Chain, you'll see you'll see when you open them. They're all unique, but they do fit the uh, the theme for sure. And one of the things that really bothers me about this type of drop is that they're coming to pack. And you know so many of these so people love to hold packs. You know, you look at the pineapples, you look at the the chambers uh, and symbiotes, and people, you know, there's something about holding that uh, for, for the future and not opening them. And I can't help but know that there's just going to be some of these that are never going to be revealed or, or not anytime soon, um, especially the customs. So there's five uh, trues. We call them trues or customs. Um, can we share what those... I don't know. Can, can you share a few of those? So we definitely <laughs> have... Okay, I'll read them out. I'll read the ones we can. 
<laughs> we can say we can say um, Andreas Punk, right? So Botany Punk. So that was definitely one because it's on the main page, right? Um, Napoleon Liger is so, top. So basically, that's Andrea. <laughs> it's basically Andrea with her plants, right? Because Andrea was a base character in the Unchained collection, so she had different variations. But but this one, she's not a base character, but yet she's featured. She's too special to not be featured. So yeah. she's there with the setup. And to add to that, yeah. I actually spoke with Andrea at uh, ThetaCon uh, 22, and she had mentioned that when we were talking, and I'm like, okay, maybe I'll make a punk in that, uh, about that in the future, so here it is. <laughs> so I don't think she knows. I think she's really, oh, yeah. think she's really gonna love it. I think she's gonna love it. Yeah. So, yeah. Who knows? Who knows if, ever, if anybody will ever see it? It's gotta be all open, you know? That's right, that's right. Yeah, I don't know about the others, though. I mean, we can definitely talk about um, the John Heater one. So, Napoleon Liger, it's basically a cross between the Tigon from the Unchained collection and uh, Napoleon Dynamite. And so, that was another one of the trues. That's in the top, I think the top left on the banner. And then, I don't know about the other three, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, don't know. I guess it'll have to be revealed. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I guess it'll have to be revealed. Um, okay. Yeah, and, and I think we, we can't get to any specifics, but I think the neat thing about this, since we partner with, um, since there's a partnership with, with ThetaCon, is that there are going to be some pretty neat challenges over really the next few months. Um, and um, I know Vision is itching to uh, create some more art to represent the prizes on these challenges, and so so that, that's going to be pretty neat. Um, Good. Vishnu, are you going to be at ThetaCon? I will be there. <laughs> I was Absol absolutely. That. I was just saying this earlier because uh, Czech um, uh, just post posted on the ThetaCon Discord that he bu booked his flight. And I've had like, well, in the past couple of weeks I've, uh, since we announced, I'm just blown away by how many people have like booked a flight and hotel. I'm like, what? It's, it's so much. <laughs> we haven't even announced tickets, but it's, it's, it's that much excitement about it, um, oh, about, awesome. about about this conference. Hey, um, while well, I have you on the spot here, um, any any chance that we might get a commemorative Datacon NFT? Because uh, you, you did quite the quite quite the job with that Theta wagon for the 2022 Datacon for the Macro Datacon. I don't know. I think people really love that. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. But yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun to create. Yeah, we, we shall see. We'll sh we shall see. That's a, that's a great idea. Cool. All right, so I have a few more questions. But before we do that, man, I got we. I want to see if we can get some some of the listeners to come up here, maybe ask you some questions about the project or maybe ask some questions about ThetaCon. Anybody want to raise their, um, their hands to come up here? Oh, hold on a second. We got a special request back here, down here. Nice. And before I bring him on, let me give him uh, an, an introduction, introduction that he doesn't need. So, as we were creating these base characters, uh, we cannot, we cannot not include two of the main projects, the Vita and Pogs, just completely revolutionizing what's, what what, be, what these technologies can do in their respective spheres. And, uh, we, when Vishnu came up with a special pod punk, you know, we, we had to, because usually we like surprising um, the people that we're going to honor. But this this particular punk, as special as it is, looks a little bit too much like a, like, like a people <laughs> punk. So we ran it by Kyler, and the man just goes, I love it. <laughs> I'm all in. Wait, I gotta jump through a few hoops, but I, I'll take care of it. I got this. Uh, I'll figure this out. I'm all in, but but I gotta get one. <laughs> I gotta get one. So a huge thank you, not only for being a major major sponsor to ThetaCon Conference, but also for um, being so cool about uh, participating and being uh, uh, being so open to be becoming a part of the State of Punk family. It's an honor, man. Well, uh, how you doing, bud? Good, dude. Thanks, Doc. You know, if it wasn't for uh, ThetaCon, how are you doing? Oh, can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, okay, I can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. You can hear me. The Doc can't hear me though. Well, everyone else can. So All right. Well, here. <laughs> Let me spin down. Is that Brian? Yeah. 
Yep, yep. All right, bet. I'll spin down, spin back up. One sec. I hope we get to see posters like in 22. That was really freaking special, man. Getting everybody to sign it. And Visioneer even signed it, dude. I have it hanging on my wall, so. Yeah, I'm really jealous of that, Charizard. Um, I wish I would have done that because I know, uh, Visioneer, you definitely were providing a few of those, and that, that was an amazing commemorative. I mean, even that NFT that dropped, um, and I know I, I shot you a nice little gift meme of uh, we're gonna need a bigger wagon <laughs> so looking forward to that if that's a possibility it's gonna be cool uh let me make sure we can get these guys back up here Boom. yeah i love that charizard uh that's just awesome what you did with that poster and by the way i saw your comment there it was uh i remember that thetacon 22 I, you were the last person i saw there at the airport and we were hanging out for a bit uh it was great to see you and uh, yeah man it was it was nice to hang out that they do for sure. Yeah, it's awesome. There we go. Let's see if we got him back. Testing, testing. <laughs> there you go. Let's go. All right, dude. Well, okay. I saw the sign up from Docs Oregon. Um, did I? One hundred percent. If it was not her ThetaCon last year, don't know if the business would be where we are today. Um, so many wonderful relationships and opportunities came out of that event um, that really, you know, we were maybe running on fumes. We had come up with a few ideas that gave us maybe a few more months of road. Um, but once we went to ThetaCon, uh, the reception and the ideas and, and the collaborations all just came together like we could never have imagined. So huge shout out to Andrea for, you know, like really getting us in there and Amy and Brian and Doc and, um, you know, everybody who, who put that together and, and allowed us to get on and, and get, get involved. And then, uh, with, you know, you, uh, you punks, man, we have to be a part of it. We've been, I've been paying attention to that project ever since we, uh, launched onto Theta and the opportunity to kind of be a part of that, I think is super exciting. Uh, I did get a message the other day of like, what could we do? Um, to, to maybe add a little utility or some exciting, uh, you know, substance to the, those NFTs. And so what we'll do is, um, I haven't shared this yet, but uh, now is as good a time as any. What we'll do is um, ThetaCon in uh, December. Uh, if anybody has one of those Pogman, Pog, or one of those Theta Punks with Pogman, uh, you'll be entered to win a uh, Pogger box. And so it's the Series 1, and you'll be able to get um, an NFT from inside the box. And so we'll raffle off one of those boxes to anyone who has one of those uh, uh, Pogman Theta Punks, if that's okay with the team. That's awesome, man. That's great. Thank you. Amazing. I can't imagine it wouldn't be. <laughs> <That's awesome>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Excited. So um, thanks for having us up. Uh, I'll probably jump down to speaker here in a minute or even just to listener, but I'm, I'm down to hang out here for, you know, 10, 15 if, I, if you let me. Yeah, absolutely. I see you uh, a billion down there as well, so we'll, we'll get you up here as a speaker. You may have a question as well. Does anybody else uh, want to request uh, to come up here and speak and you say a few words, comments, or ask some questions? I have so many questions. So, uh, pool party at Resort World. How much time are we spending in the pool? What kind of booth are you going to have there? <laughs> Belly flop contest. What, what's going on? Have you seen Andrew's hints? Andrew keeps like tweeting away. She's like, I want to go here. I want to go <laughs> there. Uh, so the cabanas Friday, Saturday. We're gonna make it happen. That's why. That, that's why. That's why we're doing this Friday, uh, Friday and Monday. So, so we can we can party. <laughs> we can party Friday and Saturday. So there's there's a plenty of time for us to uh, uh, do lots of partying and, and plan that right from between here and ThetaCon. It's gonna be a great time. <laughs> Now, here's some people. I'm surprised by how many people have not been to Vegas before. I think this is going to be a good, healthy, good time for a lot of people. I really do. We're going to be handing out $100 bills for people to go to the tables. <laughs> uh, we 
added in uh, Chief and Billion. Yeah, feel free. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can, yep. Yeah. Hey, uh, congrats on uh, the Vegas and on, on your mint tomorrow. Um, not attending Vegas, but I was curious, you guys mentioned Austin. Is there a community, a data community down in Texas, Austin? Yeah, there's several uh, several community members. Um, trying to see who is on here, but um, absolutely, yeah, get in the chat and Texas it up if uh, you're currently there and wanting to, to meet up too on the side. You know, that's obviously a part of this too. Can certainly do that in a Discord too on the side. But yeah. Yeah, that would be cool if I can connect with uh, local peeps. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, for sure. Good comment. I've been uh, following Tata for many years now. Big fan. Awesome. Yeah, yeah couldn't agree more. <laughs> Uh, okay, guys, thanks for taking me as a speaker. Have fun in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Appreciate you popping in. Hey, Chief, I know you also uh, were going to say hello. Yeah, what's going on, guys? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Oh, hey, that's Chief. unfortunate. That's unfortunate. I'm sorry you can hear me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm looking forward to this one. Obviously, I had a family issue come up last year. I missed a great time. I felt like I was there. Char brought me a whole bunch of swag. I... So grateful for that and loved it. Can't wait for this year. Um, I'm one of those guys that is already booked early, ready to go, and ready to have a hell of a time. You guys can find me early in the morning, maybe even 23 hours of the day. I'll be at the bar. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> there was a, a, a tiny piece of our hearts were cut out last year, for sure. But we were, we were filling it with some other things so it was good man we, we're so excited to have you back so it'll be great yeah, i'm super pumped to come back i i'm like cloud nine and although i did want it to be in denver because i would have thrown a little party here at my house that's okay we'll do we'll do yeah. it next time <laughs> there we go there we go <laughs> that's the week after that's that's what's following it up We may have just uh, muted a few people. I'm not sure. Can you guys still hear me okay? Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, everybody. That was my fault. I was Ooh. trying to raise my hand. You can blame it on me. Uh, but I, 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 I just saw... <laughs> yeah, exactly. I yeah, know. That was a mistake. I, I did see somebody who just jumped on stage, and any chance I get to shout him out, uh, I'm going to, because just as much as Andrea and Brian and Amy and you know the team at ThetaCon uh, made a huge influence on this business, if it was not for Rob Feldman, Ooh, we never would have learned about it. Theta, um, and so Rob deserves uh, all of the accolades, appreciation uh, that I can I can muster. So uh, you know, Rob, because of you, the business is on a really beautiful trajectory, introducing us to everybody here. Uh, so thank you again, dude. Dude, do, do, do you, uh, can you hear me? I, I don't know if my, my oh, okay. <laughs> you, you're you're always so nice. You don't have to say that. I always feel so bad. Uh, but I'm really glad it worked out. So that that's phenomenal. I'm really happy. Yeah, I'm and it's never not going to say it. If I, I know, I know this is going to happen. So. I know, but I know, and I just, I, I but I, I, it's very kind of you. It's really nice. But you made such a phenomenal difference in uh, just your the contribution to Pogs to Theta is just phenomenal. I mean, it's just phenomenal. So I'm really glad it's working out. But you know, it's one of those things that like. Rising waters floats all boats, right? So, um, and I'm really happy that you're going to be a ThetaCon, that you're you know, sponsoring. It's, dude, it's all good. This is so fantastic. I've never been to Vegas. I've never been. I told a friend of mine, he's like, oh, my God, you've never been? That? Like, no, I'm not a gambler either. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm super excited, though, and I'm really excited about tomorrow's drop. I think it should be really Rob. cool. I'm not a gambler either, man. Yes. Come hang with me. There's, okay, so much, right there's so much to do there. Apparently the rodeo show or like the there's like some sort of rodeo convention. Is that right? Should I not have said that? It's going to be in town. So my wife and kids are coming. So um, they'll have something to do there. You know, I'm sure. 
Yeehaw. We're going to the sphere. We're going to the freaking sphere, man. <laughs> we gotta go see a show there. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. But Call I'm up Chris Benjamin it. for you, and you put it all on red. Oh, there you, <laughs> there you go. There you go. I know. I, you know. I want to say I even know what that means, uh, and I think I know it. I'm, I'm kidding. I know it. Um, <laughs> Take it to the war table. No, just play war. Casino one. <laughs> Is there a slapjack table? Is there a slapjack? <laughs> yeah, powder your hand. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's going to be great. I'm super psyched. Yeah, what a great choice of venue, dude. What It's just going to be so solid. Everybody can fly in. It's going to be, you know, the lights, the the activities, and just have so many people. And that's the beautiful part about ThetaCon. Um, you know, the year, that year, last year, I had gone to NFT NYC not too long before that, and I was kind of burnt out from conferences. You know, it, it is like the opposite of that kind of a conference where you go in and you literally are going to meet friends that hopefully you'll have for a really long time. Uh, but you'll have the opportunity to be friends with them for a long time, like meeting Charizard in person and then getting to, you know, coordinate with him now over, the, over Twitter has been awesome. And, and all of you, so, you know, if you're on the fence about going, uh, I, I would say like get there because the people you'll meet are legitimately real people. They're not just people who are like looking for the next flip. They're not, just looking to like degen which is fine and obviously some of us we have a small part of us in this there are degens but um uh, you know the, the difference about theta is that it is such an advanced technology that uh you know it really does bring people who appreciate it uh who understand the blockchain and theta is different because the community has gone through three different winters right you've gone through the cycles the ups and the downs uh, a couple times two or three times and so the ones that stuck around and have built the relationship relationships through those bear markets um you know those relationships are so much stronger than you see on other blockchains uh and that's what i noticed straight away yeah i mean you raise a really good point uh, not to hijack this conversation at all or anything but uh i had gone to nft nyc back in 2022 and um when i, when I was there I was like, there's not a whole lot to see, like learn here and see. I mean, it's a good conference, but part of me was like, Theta was so was like miles, years ahead of where everybody else was, and I was like, I don't know what what I'm doing here. You know, like we already have Theta already has this technology buttoned up, um, and yeah, I, I know. I, so I hear you on that for sure. Absolutely, dude. Sorry. Uh, so many people are trying to figure out, you know, video hosting, music hosting, content management, and and then uh, obviously like the patent. So it is, you're, you're absolutely right. Theta has uh, is light years ahead of what people are trying to figure out now, and they don't even realize it. Yeah, absolutely. And that's why this conference is going to be great. I mean, I, I feel like this year, like Brian was saying, you know, last year was, you know, we're in a bear market. It was a little bit of a struggle. And, you know, I'm glad everything went well. It uh, went really well, I think. Um, but I feel like this year is going to be clearly, you know, third time's a charm, right? So I really think it's going to be a, a big one. Dude, last year was so amazing. I'm just, I can't wait for what's going to happen this year. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, you know, Miss Barry is down there right now, and I and, uh, love seeing that PFP. Um, speaking of which, uh, I don't know how, I can't post things on the Jumbotron. Charizard looks like he can. Uh, I posted up recently a giveaway. Um, we're giving $100 to somebody who uh, votes for Theta versus Algorand in this poll that's up right now. And uh, all you have to do is just vote for Theta, take a screenshot and post it in the comments of our post and um once that is over we will spin the wheel for a hundred bucks in usd for anybody who votes so um let's fucking go that's awesome man thanks so much for that well we we do have uh, an incredible drop happening tomorrow uh, with theta punks and um i'm curious to hear just a little bit more, uh, Visioneer, since we do have uh, a few more people that have popped on. They missed a, a little bit of the background. I, I know they have that background, which is uh, incredible. Um, but, you know, maybe there's another uh, 
part or piece you'd like to either reshare or, uh, I don't know, uh, bless their ears a little bit more. And again, thanks so much, because a big part of the uh, fundraising piece that goes to an event like a ThetaCon um, is happening here. We couldn't thank you enough for your partnership. I mean, it, it really does showcase the community. It's really fun with the, the PFP and the artwork. It's, it's awesome, everything you're putting into it. So thank you. Thanks a lot, Brian. That's awesome. Um, yeah, Rob, uh, Kyle, it's great to hear from both of you. Rob, I, I too haven't been to uh, Vegas, so I'm super stoked about that. It's it's mm -hmm. crazy. I've never been, so it's going to be awesome. Looking forward to it. Uh, That's awesome. Yeah. So, you know what? Uh, I'm looking at these characters here. I do want to say a couple things that uh, I haven't mentioned yet. I th when I was on the, uh, the talk the other day with uh, Pop and Mags, I've talked about some of the influencers earlier on in Theta. So I think I mentioned like everything Theta. I mentioned Digital Dave, uh, just people that were there like on YouTube in the beginning back in the day. And I would watch these videos, right? And a huge inspiration. And, and both of those guys ended up in the collection. And, and, and that's just how it turned out. That's great. Um, one person I wanted to shout out uh, to is Justin uh, Pacetti. And I say that because like, through this whole bear market, I, I kept seeing his videos popping up over and, and he's still going. Okay. And so, um, that was, it was cool to be able to make a punk, uh, for him. And so just wanted to, to, to have a shout out there. Uh, I think, uh, what he's doing is great for the community. And then the other person I wanted to have a shout out with, uh, is Vmux, um, who is rarity punk. Vmux is helping us with the rarity. Obviously he did the same thing with the first collection. And he's been a huge help. So I just wanted to, to say that um, both those guys are in the collection and it's great to have them. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing that. Um, yeah. And, and while others are talking, if anybody has a question uh, here for Visioneer, uh, for Theta Punks, so we've got that drop tomorrow happening. Um, or, you know, maybe there's a, a small one off uh, for ThetaCon, although we do have uh, plenty of information that's going to be coming in the weeks to come. Um, we're certainly excited about that. But um, while we have Visioneer here, would love if uh, anybody wants to step up and um, ask another question for him or, or have a comment there. I've got a question. Yeah. Visioneer, love. Man, I know we met in 22. I can't wait to see you in Vegas. Love to sit down, probably have a drink with you because that's what I do. And uh, <laughs> like that's great. <laughs> so, that's great. So is the NEC Vader, is that a meta-chained one? So you mean the whoa, one up for whoa, 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 whoa. The one up for <laughs> Wait, what's going on? Well, this might change my bid. <laughs> <laughs> it says it right on there. Yeah. Oh, so, no, so no, it, it says is. it. It is. Oh, oh, oh baby. Yeah. It's going to be a fun It's tomorrow. one of the 12. It's one of the 12 meta-chains. <laughs> we, we were thinking of doing it. Right. We were thinking of doing a zombie or an ape or something. Yeah, but we we just thought that one was great. So there it is. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I know medical is probably only going to try to snag it. He's making me upset. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's one hundred percent. That's happening. <laughs> just to spite you, Chief. Just to spite you. I know. There's comp I mean, I tried to tell everybody not to do anything, but I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> I, you know, I was just thinking. I was just thinking along the way. You know, there's there's a couple bald guys out there, so feel free to get that that Rob Feldman and, and some of the others. But if there happens to be a, a conference uh, probably that falls through the the cracks, don't worry about that guy. That's okay. <laughs> There's also a ball guy. Me, can I can I just say something about the meta chain? Meta chain. It's so here are these base characters, and you know, he Visionary makes them, takes his time making them, creating all the different variations. But then he's gotta one up it and take it to the meta chain level or or the unchained level for the last drop, which is <laughs> which is which is it's just such a funny, such a funny process because from from he he like he'll send me like the first draft. And, and then the second draft, and this, and every time I love it, but then every time he's like, "No, nah, that's not good enough." And then he comes back around, and and it just it gets better every time until finally, and I just always know, like the third, third or fourth or fifth time, this like a completely outrageous character comes on, like like one of, like one of my favorite meta chain on this one is going to be the Pog, the Pog one. I mean, yeah, yeah. it is it is it is hilarious. All of them are just perfect. Um, how he he makes them stand out really special. And the cool thing about these meta chains is that they they kind of change. They're a different color. Um, so so the meta chain are going to be pretty neat, and no doubt the meta chain are going to be very valuable for uh, future challenges um, and, and things like that. Uh, so look out for those. Only twelve of them out of, out of the six twenty five. So I know you mentioned the one alien, a few apes. Are there any other? I, I know in the past maybe you had like a zombie or something like that. 
Yeah, seven zombies. Seven zombies, okay. Yeah. So we've got eight zombies. What else is out there? The meta chain one, obviously, you talked about that. Five trues. So, so what's Five that? Customs, what's yeah. customs, okay. So what would yes. be significant about those customs? That would stand out, I guess. Well, instead, like you know how other projects like they they gift um, customs to to oh, to people okay. in the community and stuff like that. Um, we chose chose not to do that, right? Like like mm-hmm. like I think like you know everything's up, up, up for free mint. We were served forty something NFTs for for giveaways and things like that. But but really, like the customs are just some 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 a little special. Some, some I was I let Vishnu speak to that, but I I think it it's just something that. Some people I wanted to be honored without without being a base character. Really, how would you how would you explain a visionary? Well, it's it's interesting. Yeah, it's a good point. It's interesting because if you remember from the Unchained collection, there were twenty five hundred, right? So when we scale it down to six twenty five, again, you know, given the amount of work it takes, every single one of these is handcrafted, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, with the original trues, it was like I think it was a little bit um, easier to kind of change them. And specialize them um, you know like there's the Katy Perry one which is like the Egyptian headdress there's the Bix Weir with the silver hat etc with these um, I would say two of them especially are extremely significant and I you know one is based on um, a drop that happened quite recently that we were able to add in and then another one has to do with the history of the project that is actually quite funny. So th- th- there's a significance to each one of them, as, as Doc had said, and there's really no rhyme or reason in that they're specific, like an ape or a zombie. They just kind of have their own unique spin to them. I think that's the best way I can explain it. So, so yeah. I, don't, I don't know yeah. if I told you this, like, I, I, um, Vishnu, but like, um, Digital Dave, when he saw his custom from the Unchained collection, the, the the true like he's like how do i get my hands on this one he's like i'll do oh, everything yeah. <laughs> and i still to this day i don't think it's been opened i don't think it's been revealed really? but he's still looking for it. <laughs> he's still looking for it um, wow. and so that's the thing like we're not you know we're not giving anything away like because you you know you're a special person in the community you gotta you gotta like for, in the unchained collection there's the dark data that has a beer and I've been dying to get that thing, and it's been listed for. I keep making offers <laughs> like a thousand dollars, but it's listed yeah. for five thousand dollars. You know, yeah. oh my god! One day, one day I will get that doc data. <laughs> yes, I hope so. <laughs> so yeah, so I guess you got to earn it. You know, if you if you wanna if you wanna collect, you're gonna have to trade because uh, I, th- I have a feeling tomorrow if 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 you're lucky, you might get two packs. If you're really really quick, you might get two packs. Uh, yeah. Oh man, I'm so excited, man! How, I mean, how, Me how, how, seriously, dude, how are you feeling, man? It's been so much work. Like nobody will ever know, but it's so much work that you put into this, and 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 really, like you said, we said it over and over again. And this is a true statement that came out of your mouth. I, I think if this is a positive thing for Theta and the Theta community. And it's all going to be worth it. This is his words. So I just want everybody to understand who we're working with here. It's somebody that is, has been around the, the, the Thorite ecosystem for over, for really over five years. And, 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 and just grinding and using his skills to really add so much value to this community. So it's been a pleasure working with you. And I'm so excited we've been able to. Uh, partner with this with Thetacon in this community event and have this all come to life man yeah absolutely man no I appreciate you saying that um you're a great friend it's been awesome working with you like this and as as you said like this is so community driven like the whole purpose of what we're doing is just like embracing uh this amazing community and hopefully giving something that uh, contributes in a really positive way. And just to jump on um, the why behind it, I, I don't know if anyone saw it, I'm, but I reposted a Doge designer, Elon Musk quote. It goes, uh, we're going to make it happen as God is my bloody witness. I'm hell bent on making it work. And so when I saw that, I was like, yeah, that's totally it. Because, you know, we could have, we could have, and I don't want to say almost did, but there were some rough patches with this project, 
pushing through, you know, you come to, you come to points along the way where it's like, man, th- this isn't going to work or, we're, you know, we, we, there's just a lot that can happen. Right. And we just kept pushing through. It's been awesome. Like, it's just, it's crazy, man. It's crazy that like we're, we're doing, I want to keep doing it. I really do. You know, <laughs> I hope you do, man. Yeah. I love it. I absolutely love it. Like I have never, you know, like I, you know, I've been in a few communities, but this data community I've been in for quite some time. And I got to say, it feels like family in a lot of ways you got drama you got happiness you got everything <laughs> <laughs> yeah drama that's great gotta love the drama yeah. you know drama always though it's it tends in the theater community drama always ends up like kind of amicably things end up nice nice uh, i love the drama uh, there hasn't been that much lately though no i um, think i think things have kind of settled down a bit but i feel like it really does feel like like, Gian, I've, I've probably been on and off with talking to him for like four years, right? Like, I, it's, a lot of time has gone by, and it's like, you now you start to get to know people a little bit better through this process, but this is a tight, tight group, and I hope more come to it and realize that. Yeah. Yeah, and along those lines, you know, not everybody makes it, right? Not everybody, for better or for worse, some people have to move on. Some people are just straight up scammers. <laughs> And uh, we don't we don't find out right away, and we've learned. There are in there that you'll see in the Unchain collection, and so my argument in, in the Medicaid collection. Um, but history is history, and we're not in the business of erasing history; we're just in the business of documenting history at the point. And so, so you know, the, these are these are these people are part of the collection, uh, for sure. I, I can't wait to see them. Um, full disclosure, nobody gave me Charizard because Swamp Me, Frontman, he's already like, you know, talking a little smack. But no, I don't have Charizard. I hope I open them in a pack tomorrow. Um, I'm going to try to snipe them of somebody's hands. Yeah, good luck me, but I'm gunning for every Charizard. <laughs> yeah, I'm gunning for every Charizard, every juicy sushi cat. Pops and Mac. I mean, the whole collection, really. Who can you not go for? I mean, the Pogs, dude. Like, yeah, everyone. I want all of them, dude. So, I'm going to be out there trying to get as many as I can. Hopefully, I can get a second pack. But, yeah, I think this is going to sell out before with pre-funds, dude. For sure. So there's I can't believe Theta fucking <laughs> Swampy would ever say that. There's, there's 26 Pocket Monster Punks. Oh! Which are g- 26 of them. So that's, that's pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, my friend, uh, Sushi Cat is so special that she... Oh, hold on, my dog just ran to the next, next to the size. But anyway, Sushi Cat is so special that she's only one custom NFT. So she's not a base character. What? Oh, sad ass. Stuff. <laughs> that's awesome. She deserves it, man. That's awesome. I love that. There's, I love it. There's that special, and when somebody pulls that, they better notify us because that NFT comes along with something special. All right, let me oh, go get my dog. What, dude? Hey, can I? I gotta add to this. So, Sushi Cat, if you're listening, that was I, I have to say that was one of the hardest ones to create, and it, it you might not look that way because you know it's a cat and there's some sushi, but it. I, I, I how many iterations were done of that dog? Do you remember? there anyways yeah, it was totally. a lot it was a lot <laughs> yeah but anyways it was worth it it's great oh, it's awesome i think I, I think he's chasing his dogs yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right if fun. you can get a, a, a little uh drm uh, music or video uh, tied to that one that'd be pretty cool yeah uh, his, his, his dogs keep getting out <laughs> like this happened last <laughs> night and his dog the last day we had a call he was like my dog ran away and like did something with the neighbor. That's what he did. <laughs> oh my god! I, I, don't know. I, I feel like Max would uh, insert a dad joke here, but we'll let he it. Pro- he probably would. You know, I I don't have a fence either, and I got three dogs, and they don't always get away. But once in a blue moon, they might. But no, that you know, they're pretty tight lipped to the house. They're all theta dogs, by the way, too. I think Andrea would appreciate that. <laughs> I got to see Andrea again at the hockey game in Vegas, man, and she's awesome. You know, 
Shout out Andrew Wan, he was there. They're both awesome. They got to meet the wife, so it was really awesome to see them there. And hopefully we can do some more of those um, Vegas games, dude. This is what I was thinking. Imagine if there's a hockey game during ThetaCon. I mean, holy smokes, dude. <laughs> Possibility. Hey, and uh, the doc, you okay? Up here too, so. I got my here dog back. I'm good. <laughs> doc, they got these things called uh, leashes. You could put them <laughs> on your dog. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I like uh, my previous dog. My previous dog was so well trained that when when I rescued this dog, I just thought she would learn really fast. <laughs> and she had, hey, shh, come here. Sit. All right, good, good. She was about to run away again. I, I just thought she was uh, she was going to learn really quick, and it's been four months. She hasn't quite learned. No, I'm just kidding. She's a puppy still. She's only nine months. But you're good. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Yeah. She, wants to, she wants to come to Datacon, too. Hey, I just wanted to say, like, these Visioneer, these are amazing. And I really do like the Mags and Pops one as well. And really looking forward to a special event that those guys might do at Datacon 24. Max, I hope you speak. You probably don't have it planned yet, but I can feel it coming, man. I can feel it. Promote it, big pop and Max. Get him up here. Get him up here. Get him up here. Their big event is arguing. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> Thanks, Chief. It's awesome. I mean, at the 2023 20, event, people um, um, probably ahead, just have already reached out. And, and and one of the things it's like you guys don't have to wait till datacon to unveil and release exciting stuff you know and like, no no we want to it'll be the perfect setting i'm like oh it's just such a such a long time from now but people are gonna really take the opportunity to unveil some pretty neat things at, at datacon and that's another very exciting um, aspect of, of datacon is the fact that you get to learn about these cool updates on what people have been working on because it's such a great time to showcase it to the community um so i think this 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 convention in particular is going to be filled with that from different projects just unveiling the news um and 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 just yeah okay yeah i won't say anything. yep i can't say anything else bye-bye that's it <laughs> Mags or no ACO. Hey guys. Hey everyone. Hey. Can you guys hey. hear me? Yeah, we can. Yeah. Welcome. Awesome. Up. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, I'm just tapping in. I'm outside right now, out and about, uh, just enjoying the vibes. You know, a lot of amazing people here. Much love, Charizard. Um, yeah, Rob Feldman, Psycho Ko. I see Andrea in here. Pogs hanging out as well. Lava head, so many people, bro. Honestly, I could like literally shout out everybody in the entire space right now. But yeah, it's really exciting. You know, I saw the the uh, meta chain drop the other day on the Theta Drop page. So yeah, I'm definitely getting ready to participate in the drop. Um, I've got a few punks, Theta punks. I've got one that looks like Psycho Ko. So I thought they were really cool initially. Um, I came into Theta. Uh, via Pog, to be honest, that was my introductory to the whole Theta ecosystem, and honestly, it's been it's been really fun, man. Everybody in this community is super supportive. There's a lot of really innovative things that are going down, and yeah, a lot of creative projects out here. So I'm excited to see things move forward this year. ThetaCon seems like it's going to be massive. A lot of really exciting things going on there, and yeah, everybody's like you know really just blowing everything up right now. So. I'm happy to be a part of the community. Um, I did have a question, pretty basic question. For these uh, meta chain packs, what are the contents of these packs? Is it one theta punk or, you know, how does that work? Yeah, that's right. Uh, one punk per pack, correct. Awesome. All right, cool. But yeah, you know, I'm just hanging out. Appreciate everyone here. Good vibes. Looking forward to ThetaCon 24. I'm going to be uh, working hard trying to make sure I get out there and, uh, you know, can meet all you great people and, and have some fun. Let's go. Yes, sir. Awesome. Looking forward to meeting you as well. The entire Pogger family. It's going to be great. Yeah, likewise. Max, what do you got to say? Oh, you don't want to know what I got to say. Can you hear That's me? That's true. Mute. Uh, no. Dang it. <laughs>
um, one request, uh, Charizard, can you uh, repost Andrea's tweet about Sushi Cat for the room? That's that's one. Also, I'm hoping that I get the Pogman meta chained uh, punk. So yeah, wish mm -hmm. me luck, everyone. <laughs> Indeed. In Good luck. Two. Oh, in number two, I forget. Um, so what's going on? Um, <laughs> there's Thetacon. There's there's these meta chain punked. Uh, we got a we got a good crowd here. I'm just trying to you know vibing out with my Thetacon people, and it's uh it's 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 all good. It's all yes, good. Sir. Yeah, we love you guys. Oh, thanks. It's good to be loved. <laughs> Promoted on Pops and Rays. I'm promoting That's my love right now. I'm popping the both of us. <laughs> Sponsored by no no non assess for you. <laughs> it's our best sponsor. <laughs> but That's for you. Uh, well, I think everybody knows uh, my background here of staying up past the nine fifteen is pretty tough uh, Eastern time. Uh, I drink uh, a big load of coffee just to, to make this happen. Um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm loving uh, everything uh, Theta Punks here, what we're getting ready to do. I uh, love the partnership, Visioneer. Appreciate all that you're doing. Uh, unless we got anybody else that wants to, to pop on here and say a few words, uh, we'll leave it with that, Visioneer. Uh, if you want to come on and dock and wish us all well as we're all trying to get the, the punks that we want and make deals behind the scenes trying to get those. <laughs> Yeah, just want to, yeah, thanks everyone. Just want to say, um, I, I can say on behalf of Doc and I, like we're really appreciative of all the support. We're so happy to be doing this again. This is like for the community, it's for ThetaCon. We want to just keep right on going and uh, just super grateful to be here and can't just can't wait to see, uh, you know, where obviously this project, ThetaCon and Theta, the community as a whole uh, goes from here. It's uh, exciting times. 100%. Indeed. I hope, I hope everybody enjoys these guys tomorrow. Um, make sure to look around the secondary market and, and learn a little bit more about these characters. And um, stay tuned because we're going we're gonna to be pretty engaged from time to time uh, via Theta Drop. Oh, uh, one thing that I, I should say, um, the decision has not been made uh, yet. It, it eventually, they will, no doubt. These guys will be able to be withdrawn from, from Theta Drop. But in order to allow people to participate in a few challenges that are going to be done, they're going to be locked for some time inside of Theta Drop so that people don't have to, like, you know, deposit them back into Theta Drop just to be able to participate in the challenges because the challenges are going to be announced last minute um, from time to time. So so just look out for that. Um, but eventually, people will be able to to, uh, to take them all out. Uh, yeah, I'm just scrolling through these and, and, and I think people are going to be very, very happy <laughs> Absolutely. with this guy, these guys tomorrow. Um, Super stoked. It's awesome. All right, and if you haven't joined the Data Punk Discord, um, um, we're we're we'll be doing some some uh, challenges there. We'll be able to answer some questions there about these characters, and from time to time, Vishnu will come on and, and speak a little bit about uh, some of these characters. So um, you know, make ma make sure to to uh, to be there uh, to join the Discord, and so you can kind of learn a little more about the Data Punks community from from time to time. All right, guys. Anybody else have any questions? Yeah, cool, cool. I'll have to, uh, in the future, give Guardians of Theta, uh, Theta Vibes, a uh, heads up to uh, some, some music when we end these things. We'll have to do that over the Punk. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, we got Dr. Save. We'll get him up here just for a second, and then we will close this out. Yo, I but thanks it. again, guys. Thank you for this. Thank you, Visioneer and Doc, for putting me in this collection, guys. I'm really, truly honored, and I just want to say thank you so much. That I, I am really happy here at the Theta community, guys. It's one of the best communities out there in crypto, and, you know, for all those haters out there, Theta is where it's at. That's all I got to say. Thank you, guys. Thank you, man. It's awesome. Thank you. Dr. Say, do you want anything else before we're out of here? 
There you go. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Hey, guys. Uh, I missed this. I have to catch the recording. But, man, I am so stoked for this. I missed the, the first Data Punk drop. Um, and I was actually kind of curious. Is there going to be any tie-ins with that? Or is this, like, a, just our own completely separate project? Uh, well, the tie-in would be that they're generally the same look and feel, right? Like, so they have the same backgrounds. And then the other tie-in would be that there are more characters from the, uh, the the community. But yeah, it's a separate collection. So the meta chained is 625 separate collection from the unchained, which is uh, 2,500. Okay, okay, cool. Because yeah, I was looking at the old collection uh, on Theta Rarity right now. I was gonna, I was getting too excited to wait till tomorrow, so I'm gonna at least uh, go enjoy some of the old school stuff. But uh, yeah, man, I'm just excited. This is gonna be a fun job. Indeed. Well, thank you, thank you. And with that, everybody have a, a wonderful evening, and uh, looking forward to tomorrow sharing what everybody opened. Everybody Absolutely. Evening. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Visioneer. Thanks, Doc. And the rest that were up. Appreciate it.